Hey guys, it's Kelly. Hey, I got my 11th page of my Mixed Media Art Journal series done. I called it Vintage Style because I really wanted to do something vintagey and old looking. So I used some filigree pieces, lots of paint, lots of sparkle. It was fun. So how I did it was I used my Lumiere paints for my background and I used the colors that I used was the, they're all metallic. So the brown one is metallic rust. The reddish one is metallic russet, and then I use metallic gold. I've used this color combination before. I love it. Kind of makes me think of autumn. Um, it's just kind of warm colors to me. And um, yeah, I just like it. So I slapped it down, um, literally just messy like. I wanted all the colors to be swiped together, and I know it's kind of a thicker paint, so the paint would give me a little bit of dimension and texture. So I slap that down and th these colors kind of make me think of autumn which believe it or not I already miss. It is February 7th and it is 80 degrees and sunny and gorgeous outside. <laughs> That's why everyone comes to Arizona in the winter because it's beautiful in the winter. But I'm not ready for 80 degrees. I don't, I like the colder weather. You know, I like 60s and 70s. So, yeah, I already miss autumn. So there it is. Uh, big blobs of the paint are on my page, and I'm okay with that. Now, it took a long time to dry, which, again, I was okay with that. It adds texture in the background. I just like it. I think that kind of background looks really cool. And this tissue paper is from, I've used it before in the past. I went to a um, antique store and I think I paid $1.95 for a couple big packs of dress patterns. And that's what that is. It's, you know, you lay it out and then you cut it. And uh, it's very, very old. And that tissue paper is, it's, it's, it's not like tissue paper you buy now. It's, it's like, a mix between tissue paper and toilet paper. <laughs> it's very, very fine and it has that um, already tea dyed antiqued look to it. It's not white, it's like the cream color and I love it. And I love the lines on there and the patterns. I just think it's so cool. So if you want some of this tissue paper um, for cheap, just go to an antique store. It's like a buck eighty-five. Don't pay more than two dollars for it. That's just robbery. But, um, yeah, go get it and add some script stamp to it and make it your own or stamp it however you'd like. But the, my favorite is to add a light script stamp in the back just to add some interest. So and what I'm doing with the ruler is I know that my book is four and a half by five and a half. So I was just trying to cut it down to waste as little as possible. And I save all the pieces. So, because you can add a strip of this to something, and with that little scissor on there, it's really cool. And when you add it to your project, it's complete, almost completely transparent when you use your um, either Mod Podge. I'm using Liquitex uh, Matte Medium. I put a little bit too much on there, but, you know, I don't care. It adds texture, whatever. So, and I just swipe it on there. Leave the globs where they are, let them dry. Put an extra little strip up there that I had cut off. And let that dry, and then I just trimmed off the edges and I saved them. So, um, I did a lot of editing there, sorry about that real quick, but uh, graphic 45, there's a sassy stamp of a lady with a huge hat, you can't even see her face. And um, she's just sassy. And I thought that was really cool with the um, dress pattern tissue paper that I did. So I went with it. So, and the sentiment there is more like a banner, but it says, Style is a simple way of saying complicated things. Very true. So I stamped that on plain white cardstock, or white, I think it's just white copy paper. And um, when I started to distress it with vintage photo, I was like, well, What are you doing? You know, it kind of wrinkled up, and I was like, Oh, duh, why aren't you distressing this? So I got my distress tool and just ran it across the edges there. And then I inked it. So don't hate me guys. I know you guys 
gosh, on the East Coast, and you guys are just battling super, super cold and massive blizzards, and ugh. Come to Arizona. It's 80 degrees and sunny. It's worth the flight. Drive. <laughs> just get out of that mess. So anyway, after I uh, distressed it with Vintage Photo, I spritzed it with water really quick, and then it blew everywhere. So I just spritzed it with water really quick, and then that blended the colors nicely. I made it look like an unintentional distressing. And then when you do that, that copy paper gets kind of crunchy and stiff, a little bit more stiff. I like it. Makes it look even older. And then after I did that, I thought, ooh, maybe I'll use something I haven't used in a while, which was my Perfect Pearls Mist, and I used Heirloom Gold. And that, you kind of have to be careful with that, because you can overdo it so easy. It's just, I sprayed it on there, and then might have been a little much, but once it dries, it's not so bad. But it does, you know, Perfect Pearls, they do what they do. They add a nice shimmer. It's like the mica powder that's in there. And it, it as a really nice shimmer but um, this one is a little bit dark so you have to be careful when you use the heirloom gold but I liked it I thought it went well but I was gonna use copper but I thought that would just be too matchy matchy so I just eyeballed it and cut out some black cardstock to um, kinda call a little bit of attention to my banner there the only thing I, I'm not happy with with this page is that I kind of I'm lacking really a, a focal point. I'm kind of all over the page, but that's all right. I liked all the elements that I was adding, and um, I probably should have outlined my lady with the hat, but you know it's my art journal. You, there's no right, there's no wrong. You do what you do. So I just used that was my ATG gun for those that don't know. It's uh just a tape gun and it's got adhesive in there and I just glued that down and then again I'm using my Liquitex uh, matte medium now guys Mod Podge works fine you can make your own Mod Podge which is Elmer's glue and water um, but any kind of you know if you bought Deco Podge, Mod Podge all the same when you put your tissue paper down so I was just messing with the layout there and there's my matte medium. I do I do really like the Liquitex uh, matte medium that I'm using. I really do like it. I like it better than um, any of the other ones. Now, I don't know if they're all made the same, but this just seems to be, I don't know, more fluid and more uh, constant in its texture. I don't know. I just like it. So once I added her, she was done on white tissue paper. Um, she had that whitewash look, which doesn't really go with my projects. So I decided to use my vintage photo very, very lightly after my matte medium was dry and just kind of go over her real quick and make her blend in a little bit better. That was good enough. And then I'm playing with my layout. Where am I going to put stuff? And those are filigree pieces. You guys can get those from my store at designsbykelly.com. Lots of other people carry them too. Just shop around and get the best deal. Of course, I think I have the best deal. But, you know, shop around. Do what's best for you. So, alter these suckers. You know, you don't have to use them just the way they are. You can make them your own. And for this project, they were kind of drowning in my background and I knew that that would happen. So I knew I was going to do this with them. So, all I'm doing is dabbing the jet black uh, distress paint dabber on there and I left it on the bottom piece and then kinda just wiped it off of the top one because it settles into all of those little grooves and it really um, it does it changes the effect of it so and distress paint dries pretty quickly so I just shot it with my heat gun really fast because I knew I was gonna do my ink of gold and a product of my environment, I live in the desert, my ink of gold is kind of drying up. All my distress paint dabbers, they dry up as well. I always have to add water to them. I am disappointed with the uh, distress paint dabbers, but because even I buy them brand new and they're dried out. It's really, really um, not happy about that. But anyway, 
I had water and fuss with it, but I just bought it. I don't want to fuss with it. <laughs> so um, I just wiped um, real lightly because it was a little bit thicker, the uh, rub and buff that I put on there. I think I said Inca Gold. Sorry, guys. It's earlier. If I did, sorry. It's the gold rub and buff. And um, so, yeah, I'm kind of messing with my design and my filigree pieces, although I love them. It's a tad too big. So there they are up close. You can see how I altered them. God, I love those. But I decided I was going to cut that one bigger piece. And you see how easy they are to cut. It's so easy. It's not going to ruin my scissors. Actually, sharpens them. But um, I just did those two pieces that kind of look like crowns. You can use those as crowns. Add it to a bird. How cool would that be? And um, I'll save the little flower piece that I cut off for another project. But I just altered this and added it to the back and made it a little bit smaller so that it fit my project better. So when you're, for those that don't know, guys, if you know already, um, bear with me. But there's a lot of people that are doing this for the first time and they don't know. And we got to help them out. I get a lot of questions. So. So when you're doing when you're gluing metal pieces, E6000 is the best glue to use that I found, and I think most will agree with me. But um, what I suggest now, you see, I have a huge tube. I suggest buying the small tubes, and and the reason being is because it'll wind up kind of drying out at the tip. My cap cracks and breaks, and um, I gotta fuss with it. So in hindsight, I really wish I would have bought. Um, the real small tubes and just use them as I go uh, you can get those at your local craft store I know my friend Fiona um, just got them in her store online on her Etsy store um, lots of other sellers you can get too but just shop around for the best deal E6000 isn't you know the most expensive glue but it's also not the cheapest either so just do what's best for your budget but I definitely recommend if you use hot glue gun your hot glue for your metal pieces they'll just pop off in a while they won't last for you so and E6000 takes a little while to dry so um, my sassy lady with the huge hat that's stamp she's holding a bouquet of flowers that were just disappearing so I thought oh I'll add a little bit of color so I used my intense pencils and I my um, detail brush added some water to it and just took the color straight from the pencil because it's such a small area and just add a little bit of color so you could see that she was holding a bouquet of flowers and then I'm using heirloom gold um, wish I wouldn't have done this well you know it's okay it's okay um, but it kind of made her hat disappear so what we didn't catch in the video was that once I put the Inca gold the Inca gold <laughs> the perfect pearls uh, spray on there the mist once I put that on there everything kind of blended together a little bit more than what I had liked I just wanted the shimmer of it but I didn't want it the color of it if that makes sense so I should have just used perfect pearls on it but what I wound up doing to her hat because there I am fussing with it and then it kind of disappeared is I used my Faber-Castell pit marker and colored it in and made it really black so and we missed parts of this video, but I'll explain what we missed. And I'm just kind of slapping up the extra there. And then I'm using the black, jet black distress paint dabber around the edges. Because that's what was out. You could use archival. You can use your Inktense pencil. You can use gelatos, whatever you want. Just to kind of run around the, the edges of it. And there's the filigree piece there. It's upside down, but I just had you got to give that plenty of time to dry. I really like how that piece came out, how I altered it. Really like it. So, and then here's what we missed. I don't know why we missed it, but we did. Um, I just did some paint spatters with a toothbrush and black and white distress paint, and then glued down the embellishment and uh, the altered filigree embellishment that I did. So there it is. I love how that filigree piece turned out. I love the sassy big hat lady and all the texture there. I hope you guys do too. Hope you like it and you're inspired to make something very vintage and beautiful and use some filigree pieces. So thanks you guys for watching and if you liked it don't forget to like, comment, and share. And thank you. More to come.